Hello there, everybody, and welcome to another Alexa look. Today we take a look at Doom in Zero, also known as, for those that know how to read, Domino. This is a, a domino deck building game uh, where you are filling a grid with domino pips that have to connect to one another, a la dominoes, uh, but you're able to kind of build a deck along with it, and then you're presented with legitimate pieces of code like written in javascript or something uh that you can inject into the game to change the way that it plays it's a fascinating little game uh so i figured i'd showcase it i, I think that there's actually something here this was made in the github game off 2021 uh by anti havico uh apologies if that is not how you pronounce your name but i did do one small short like five minute run just to kind of get my my bearings straight in this but i am excited to to continue checking it out let's get going my name uh olanky <laughs> I will, I will forever be cursed with Olanky by uh, Sir Retromation. I'm Scalab, and I'll help you get started playing. Place cards on the field to connect as many pips as possible. Okay, so we can do this. We cannot rotate in any way, uh, but you can see that when we get close to a pip, it tries to connect. So this we cannot connect because uh, these are actually in the middle, whereas... You know, these dots here are in the middle, these ones here are on the bottom. So I can connect here instead, and we get 12 points for that, because that's the total number of pips. Um, it's just that simple. Nicely done, keep going. The par for this stage is 30 points. So we gotta hit 30 as a score in order to pass the level, and that's kind of how the progression is done. So we can not do this, because this does not connect to that. I can instead do something like this. There's another 16, so basically I need two more points and I beat this level, which is not difficult. Here you can see the draw pile as well. So you can kind of plan ahead how certain turns are going to go. Um, because, for instance, we know if we draw literally anything <laughs> after this round, um, they all still connect. So we can do something like that, and then we can end with something like this. And they all connect. It's a perfect 100 score for the round. Um, I'm sick nasty. And then we draft a new card to add to the deck. So this card rotates and activates the cards in the marked direction. Okay, he rotates. He rotates clockwise. So this is a great card to put like in the middle and then build stuff around it, right? It's interesting. Bomb pips explode after two activations, destroying the card. <laughs> okay, that that's interesting. Um, I like just thinking from a strategy perspective, right? Anything that touches an edge and in fact touches two different edges is going to be really good, I think. So this is pretty good too. I'm going to take this rotator just because I don't know what the hell's going on. So now we have to pick a piece of code to inject. Um, and you're going to test my damn Java skills a little bit here. So on placing a card, if a card is a polar, then it pulls all. And it's called a vacuum. I don't know what the frick that means, <laughs> but that's fine. Um, and then presenting code injections while this... I think this gives us an additional additional pick. So this will give us three options. Yeah, and it's called options. Okay. Um, it's a for loop. It's counting to three because it's zero, one, and two. Look, I code for a living. I can figure out freaking simple JavaScript. Um, okay. I don't know what the hell this means. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna take options here. That their code makes you get more options for future code injections. Okay. So this is, again, I would love to have the uh, the stupid little rotator in the middle. This is actually like a, a pretty crappy card, in my opinion. Like if we could get rid of it, I would I would be over the moon happy. Um, this is also unfortunate because there's literally only one spot I can get points for this. This is miserable so far. Okay, we have to put this here again. There is no other location we can put it. So our draw is um, not great at the current moment in time, but we like this. We get no points, but the next round it activates this, which will be fine. So let's do that. And then he, why did you rotate you son of a gun? I'm mad. He didn't rotate, dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm pissed, I'm pissed. Okay, so this is a vacuum. 
card pulls and activates cards in the marked direction. Rotates and activate. Oh wait, cause it never. Oh, it, the card itself doesn't rotate. It rotates the other cards. Okay, you know what? Get freaking weird. Take two rotators and then let them both start rotating like crazy. That sounds like a, a stupid idea. Okay, default hand size plus one. Get a bigger hand size, okay? This is even more variety. This is on picking our new cards though, not the injections. Okay, that's interesting. And then this is a multiplier on, so on place, if a card dot X equals zero, then you start with a multiplier. So if it doesn't have a area on the left, then we increase the multiplier of the card. This seems like this is how you get points in this game. Okay, code you just picked up causes the cards placed on the left edge to start with a modifier. Okay. It's not what I expected, I'm going to tell you, but I think that's okay. So this should gain a modifier of times two. Okay, dude, not too bad, actually. We're happy with that. This is miserable placement. Miserable placement. Uh, Actually just like super boned in this scenario. Super boned. Um, we get only four points for this. I'm going to put it there. Then we're going to... I don't even know what the hell is going to happen here. I'm going to rotate these okay yep that was weird and like probably not good just gonna just gonna kind of point that out is not good so this only rotates it once i think that's important to kind of note here so if we rotate this then we'll get eight points times two for some reason <laughs> Okay, yeah, fair enough. Um, I have no idea what's going on. We're gonna take this card. I like it. Um, on destroy of a card, then our new card we place on that previous card's position. So we can replace a card. Okay, yeah, honestly, that makes sense. That makes sense to me. Um, when we activate a card, we can transform it. If if the random number that it generates in some way, shape, or form um, is mod 30 or divisible by 30, then um, we transform it into a star. I have no idea what that means. Let's do it. That sounds like a horrible idea. Okay, that piece of code makes every 30th activated pip turn into a star. I don't know what that means, but that's fine. We got to make it to 60 on this round. Start me with this son of a gun right here. Sure, hit me with a rotate on him. I actually don't mind that at all. Um, just kidding. I mind it a lot. I mind it a lot. We'll put this here because I see a world. I actually like this here. I see a world where our other rotator, we can flip him back around, and then that ends up being some okay stuff. We have blocked out the entire top half, but this is what we're looking for. Beautiful, beautiful, very good, very good. Now what? I'll I'll put him there, and then put him there. It, I'm going to tell you, that's also a miserable round. <laughs> we, we have done some uh, interesting stuff. You have to take the big pip card that covers a lot of area. You, you have to take that. Even if I want the rotator just because I'm a psycho, you got to take it. So, on place, if the card is a rotator, then it rotates its neighbors. 180. So, it rotates once, it rotates twice. So, every rotator rotates twice. I think. I mean, that's just weird. I, you have to take it just because it's weird. I'm, I'm all about weird. Makes your rotator cards trigger twice. He's cracked at Java. Okay. Um, put this guy smack dab in the middle, to be honest. I actually really like that position. I like this right here. We're not placing on the left wall, you dumbass. We got to place on the left wall, though. Because that's how we're going to get points. Let's put this here. We're looking for a left wall banger. That will do. Okay. Now the times two is chilling. The times two is chilling. What is a safe rotation for us? Uh, literally none of them. Well, okay, but no, it rotates twice. It rotates twice. So this, 
is brilliant. Oh my god, dude, it's so brilliant. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> that's exactly what you like to see. You put that there. Oh, dude, this is a big round for us. It's a par freaking 60. I have to do a lot better. I have to do a lot better. Okay. So, what is an okay rotate of twice? This is an okay rotate twice. Never mind. We're already at 600. We're, we're cracked. Okay. That's good everything's still connected whenever we can get everything fully connected dude i'm like i'm in this is a happy day for me we got a star i don't know what the star does but we got a star okay since our rotators rotate twice dude just just send me to the moon on it that sounds good to me um okay on rotate then the card gets a random pip and we transform it into a star that's brilliant i mean on right is also good but like i have to imagine stars are actually good this stage has no par but you must finish it in the allotted time oh yeah time 55 okay um gotta go fast baby gotta go fast that's fine we don't have to think too too much uh, i don't really think when i do anything anyway um in case you haven't figured that out Okay, I mean, that was a lot of points, but I'm extremely confused by what the hell I'm doing. We're actually fine. Don't don't let it be twisted. Oh, God, what the heck? It's gone sicko mode, dude. My score is insane, but what in the hell is going on? Okay, this will rotate twice. Can I rotate the... Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, that was weird. That was weird. I don't think I ever want to do that ever again. Um, okay. We're fine. Times two, times six, times four. I finished it with 29 seconds to spare. He's, he's so good. Okay, give me this. This is a good card. Chaos. If the turn timer is divisible by five, then we add a random card and then draw one. That, I don't, what? I think you want to have on right get some better stuff right new card cause cars <laughs> sorry i stroked out in the middle of that sentence a uh, new code causes the cards placed on the right you try saying new code causes the cards a bunch of times and then tell me what the hell is going on okay we put this here for the times two then this is fine i know that you might not think it's fine but i actually think it's fine you put this here it's a prime rotate target i think this is totally fine it's the prime rotate target. Bang, bang. He's actually like the most brilliant individual on planet Earth. Then you're just gonna like, you're gonna go sicko mode. You're gonna, you're gonna rotate all of this 150,000 times and it's all bad actually. It's all bad, but we're 200 over par. <laughs> so you, you try telling me who's in bad shape. The answer is you're in bad shape, dummy. Okay. Rotate this guy twice. We, we get him back to reality. Oh, there goes my sanity. Oh, there goes gravity. The Super Bowl is still in my brain. Okay. Um, take this. Then take this. And then you're just, like, completely worthless, huh? You're, you're completely worthless? This is one of those sad situations where um, he does literally nothing for me. I'm up 600 on par, so... I think I'm fine. Card pushes and activates cards in the marked direction. I'm sticking with rotators, man. Get, this is rotator heaven right now. Lucky rolls. Okay. We're going to do a random chance. What? I don't know what this does. <laughs> I don't know what this does. We get a random target float. And then if... A power of that raised to... I don't know, man. We also have the Orphanizer. What the heck does this mean? We get the amount of neighbors the card has. And if it's not the first turn and the amount equals zero, the card explodes. So we could just, like, rip a card out of the deck. That's interesting. Um, But what if we just got, like, a better left multiplier? Seems to be some visual interference in this stage. I do see the visual interference. I'm going to assume that I cannot place in your visual interference. Okay. We're on times threes, though. Um, This will not work. This will not work. This will also not work. Okay. Let, you know what? <laughs> get a little, get a little wacky. 
<laughs> oh, the inner, the visual interference just like jumps around the damn grid too. That's fun. That's definitely an interesting, uh, interesting mechanic. Just get visually interfered with. That somehow connects that. I don't know, man. Why not, right? There's a multiplier. Kind of just in like the multiplier hell. Let's do. I don't remember what's under there. You got me. You got me. Haha, uh -huh, hilarious. Let's let's send you twice. And then we're going to send you right back again. That's a dumb idea. How about we do this will work. That'll work. Yeah, that'll work. It's just that simple. Um then you hit it with a little one of these cuz that connects. Yeah, it's just like you got to connect the dominoes, man. Like, come on, just connect the dominoes. Um, this will work. Right? I'm rotating in my head. I have very bad visual awareness. This will... N well, it won't connect to that, but it'll, it'll still work. Oh, dude, this actually is a freaking brilliant one, because it hits all of them twice. That's a huge amount of value. Uh, this card blows, for the record. I, like, it literally just doesn't fit with what we're doing. Um, so we would prefer to... I mean, really, we would prefer to rip it from the universe at some point because it's just a pile of trash. Like, we, we just don't want it. Um, this is a weird card for sure, right? But hold me uh, against the wall and push it into me. Uh, pardon me? Uh, we're, we're gonna take the rotator. Star pusher. On push, we don't push. We don't, we don't push. We're, we're a left wall kind of person. We're a left wall kind of person. What do you do here? It doesn't matter. Starting with a rotator is just, uh, you chill. Un unfortunately, there there's really nothing that we can do about that. Um, God, this is just miserable, ain't it? This is just miserable. Rotating this twice is fine. This is a tough round for us to be in, right? Um, it, it does not actually... Well, we're still somehow pulling points out of this, but it's a rough round because we are dropped into a position. This this all connects, man. This all connects. Um, where the left wall is kind of just, we, we blocked it off. Never mind, we can play right there. What's a good rotate target? Can you rotate? You can. Oh, no, actually, that's a horrible rotate. <laughs> that's a horrible rotate. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, just put that there. We're doing fine, man. Uh, it's actually like this is probably the worst round I've done yet. We're we're so lucky we're up like a thousand on the game right now. I'm gonna tell you, dude. I'm not pulling and I'm not pushing. I re I refuse to pull and push. Stack size? What? Underachiever? <laughs> okay. On the stage par. We. We're just going to get a random value, I think, and then lower the amount of par we need. I don't know what stack size is. So I'm going to take it. What 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 are you... This stage has no par, but you need to connect the already placed cards. That's not a problem for me. Just kidding. That's going to be a huge problem for me. Dude, I don't really have cards to do something like this. You know? Just kidding. We're, we're completely fine, man. We're completely fine. Um, are we completely fine? We, we can rotate. Oh, no. What have I done, dude? Oh, that's, that's actually, that's real bad. We can get our other rotator there and it'll, it'll be okay. Okay. This is, this is fine. We just need the other rotator. Uh, we rotate this twice, which then that's going to rotate a couple times let's just put it like here i don't think we need to get too too cute about this we like this i literally ruined the one opportunity that we had am i dumb like am i literally just the dumbest human being on planet earth and please for the record do not answer that yeah i mean we're we're actually just this is a big old gg because i'm an idiot I'm a big old idiot. There, I literally surrounded and blocked in this uh, cube. Okay, so send me to the moon. You're gonna kill me. Yep, fair enough. You got me. You got me. Um, go again. Go again. Connect. I don't need to see my draw pile. That's 
honestly, in terms of gaming, that was the epitome of not gaming. Um, I had one out and I just took the out and threw it in the garbage disposal, turned the little lever, heard grrrr, and then uh, grabbed the fork that was stuck in it. Um, so let's, let's go for pushes this time, right? What is force? If the card is a pusher, we push all of them. Okay. I mean, sure. We'll see what happens. That their card code enhances your push cards to affect every other card in marked directions and extends the range. I don't necessarily know what that means yet. Wow, it pushes it pretty far. Okay, it pushes you pretty far. I'm not necessarily... Like, I'm, I'm not afraid of that yet. Uh, you can connect. I'm not afraid of that yet. But it could be weird. This card pulls. Oh, God. <laughs> no, you know what? You gotta take this. You gotta take this. What is the diffuse kit? If a bomb... If a pip is a bomb, then we transform it to a star. Okay. You know what? I like that. Because now we can pick bomb cards and just defuse them. And I'm I'm chill with that. So, we can put this right here. But then, like, the reality is when we do that... It actually doesn't... It doesn't retroactively happen. Which is probably for the better for us, I would say. Give me some connectors. Give me some connectors. And then... We're fine. Okay, we're chilling. We're, we're completely fine. We have another pusher, and we have some rotators. I will just push. I'm good to just push. What is the detonator on explode the neighbors activate? That's never gonna happen because we defuse bombs, right? So we take visions instead, which allows us to see the order of our draw pile. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're a fan of the channel, you probably already realized this, there's like a 0% chance that I am going to look at the draw pile order. Um, that requires way too much strategy for my small brain to handle. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm, I'm actually like super dumb. I'm a super dumb person. Uh, so you have to really, you gotta really think long and hard about uh, what you think of me. Let's take this four banger, which is a little bit better. Greed, get card pick count, default pick count plus one. Okay, yeah, that seems fine. Underachiever could also be okay. Um, pick two cards after each stage. Oh my, that that does sound actually kind of good. Push this sucker down here. I, I don't, dude, I really don't understand the, how the pushers and pullers actually like benefit our run. Oh, I've literally blocked in this entire chain. Fair enough. Oh, we just die. <laughs> that's, that <laughs> that's just game over that's just game over okay we'll hit it with a try again i think we got a pretty lucky round the first time i think i maybe picked some uh some less than ideal some less than ideal cards it's an interesting little game man i i really i really enjoy it um it's also i mean beautiful graphics a beautiful idea um the music is also pretty good too so if we play the center card, then we start with a multiplier. I, I actually like that. So if we play a card in the center, we get a multiplier. Bang. So he's he's now a times whatever. We'll just play the first card in the center. As, why would you play that there? That makes, that makes no sense to be right there. I will survive this round, but you got to actually look in the mirror and figure out if I'm as stupid as what I look. Um... If a card is a puller, you pull them all. I just go for it, right? Go for it. Play it in the center. That's a horrible card for the center. I mean, like, a literally horrible card for the center. We're so lucky that we did not just immediately lose right here. This is a damn miracle. I'm going to tell you. It's a damn miracle. We, we should not have had any of those connect in the end. We got extremely lucky. Okay. Take this guy. I'm telling you, visions just doesn't matter. So I can destroy a card and replace it. Exploding cards get replaced with a new random card. That is not what I expected that to be, but sure. That's fine. Still still fits the mark for what I'm, I'm liking here. But let's do a little one of these. Completely blocking off the left side. That's a, a Tyler's specialty at this point. 
There's nothing that gets me going more than blocking off an entire side. Oh, dude, you'd love to see this too. Let's just um, ruin any potential to connect uh, anything we have. Okay, and then in the end, you'd rather get the points going this way. We're still over par. Come on, let's let's not get too too crazy. Um. Those bomb pips explode after two activations, destroying the card. I just don't see that being good, right? On pull, then a card gets a random pip and transforms into a star. We just need to get a damn pull, man. And then that's that's going to be good stuff. Okay, connect those. Then connect these. I like that. Connect these. We got all the space in the universe to connect. That's good. This will work. We're fine with that. This will work. We're fine with that. This is like our, our catch-all. He basically can go on anything. Um, I like the idea of him going here. And we're, we're golden. Okay. If you can connect it all, dude, uh, we're, we're in great shape. Give me a five banger. Always good. And then on activate, we transform something into a star. Um, okay, we got to connect these. This, this is my um, true nightmare. This is my true nightmare. We're going to try to just sneak. <laughs> okay, we'll connect there. That's fine. Oh, dude. I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna freaking lose. I'm gonna freaking lose because I'm dumber than a brick. Is, is this really my life now? Okay. Maybe we do... Uh, no, you, you do it there. We do it there. Now, don't do that. That would be dumb. We can connect that. That's fine. We're, we're just looking for... <laughs> I don't know if I have a card that can actually do this. Let, let's do this. Okay, what are you? Um... Hold on. Hold on. He's calculating in his brain. He's calculating. Okay, he has calculated. We lost. Okay, that's a good calculation. Um, there is no chance. So we can do this, and then that doesn't work. Or we could do this, and then that doesn't work. So in the end, we still lose. He's, he's like, kind of stupid, I'm going to tell you. He's kind of stupid. This game is maybe too big brain for me to handle. Um, I am mainly disappointed in myself on this one. Uh, but I encourage you to go try to make your way onto uh, this leaderboard in Doom and Zero. You can pick this up on itch.io uh, for zero dollars and zero cents, although you can send a little donation on over to the dev when you purchase it. Um, really fascinating little game. I would love to try to get a lot farther in this. I think we're probably going to check this one out again on stream sometime. Um, not the best showing for me, but that's because I, I'm missing brain cells in case you didn't hear. So thanks so much for watching. As always, like on the episode is much appreciated. We'll be back with more Alexa looks tomorrow. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.